concept of present value. Now, whenever we talk of present value, when does it apply? Present value is always applicable or time value of money is always applicable when there is a time frame between the receiving of the money and the receipt or the issue of the goods. So suppose there is a sale of goods and there's a receipt of money. Or even if there's a purchase of goods and there's a payment of money. If this time frame is more than 12 months, then there is a time value of money which needs to be taken into account. Is that clear? So, whenever we have a time gap between the receipt or the sale of goods and the money consideration that is received or paid, whatever it is, there is we have to go with the present value. So first of all, when I want to do anything at present value, I need to know my formula. What is present value? It's a future value into 1 upon 1 plus R raised to N. So suppose I tell you that Hotel Transylvania has renovated its head office and purchased furniture costing 10,000. The credit offered by the vendor was two years. The discounting rate applicable is 5%. How should the purchase be recognized? So first we need to understand that we have purchased the furniture today. But the payment is going to be made after two years. So I cannot record the transaction at 10,000, but at the present value of 10,000. So to get the present value, I will do a formula as future value into 1 upon 1 plus R raised to So what is the future value? That means the money you're going to pay after two years. So it is 10,000. Sorry, one Into 1 upon 1 plus R. What is R? In this case, he said it is 5%. So whenever we say something is 5%, I need to take R as 0.05. So I have taken 1 divided by 1.05 raised to 2. And we will record the furniture today in year 0 because I have got the furniture today. Okay. Here I got the furniture today with me. So I record the furniture at the present value. And I credit the accounts payable with the amount of 9,070. So that's how I got my present value. So we cannot record the furniture at the future value. You have to record it at the present value. Because we have bought the furniture today. We are going to pay for it after two years. That means in two years, we are going to pay him 2%. In, we are going to pay him 5% interest for two years along with the value of the furniture. The value of the furniture is excluding the finance cost. 10,000 includes the finance cost. Okay. So, I have to separate it. So, I am recording the transaction at 9,000. Ma'am, one question. So, uh, yeah. Ma'am, so this discounting rate that you've just calculated, like uh, raise the power to uh, two, if this is a question that we get there in the exam. And if, say, for example, it's for 20 years or 25 years, we would have to calculate it that way? Yes. The formula that I gave you, you'll have to apply. We would not have the we would not have the straight discount rate there, or we would have to calculate it. It depends. Sometimes they give you the present value of five percent after two years point dollar one after two years point seven five four like that. So sometimes they give you it like that. If not, also this is how you should get. Okay, but I will show you examples at that time. We will look at it from the exam perspective. So for today, let's just understand the concept. When it comes to exam questions, you will understand exactly how they ask. So now don't worry about that, okay? So I got the figure of 9,070. I did debit furniture, credit accounts payable, and I put the amount of 9,070. Now, uh, 
end of year one, what do I do? I'm going to write down the interest cost. So on 9,050, I will take a 5%, sorry. Yeah, so on 9,020. So the value of my accounts payable at the end of year one has become 952. Next year, again, we record 5% interest on it, debit finance cost, credit accounts payable. And then now the total value of my accounts payable has become 10,000. So now we debit accounts payable and credit cash. So I have recorded my furniture, one second. I recorded the furniture at 9,070. I recorded the difference between 10,000 and 9,070, which is 900 odd. In two years, I have taken it as finance cost. Okay? Yes, tell me your question. Like, uh, I purchased a furniture uh, today. Uh, so, mm. like, uh, the future value is uh, 10,000. So, like, what will, uh, like... Uh, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. You understood this example? I purchased today. I'm going to pay mm. for it after two years, right? Okay, so current value of the furniture will be like uh, nine thousand something. Uh, you yes, yes. So will book will uh, like this this amount will be will record in book as uh, like value of asset. Yes. Yes. Okay. Debit furniture credit accounts payable. Okay. 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 Now I'm taking the second example. Ma'am. I yeah. Um. Actually, if uh, we are buying a furniture ten thousand today. But we are paying after two years. But it is not a credit. Like a credit means not not a loan. I'm paying through cash after two years means what will be a treatment? Whether you pay with cash or anything. Haven't you got a credit period? Yeah, if I got paying, a credit period. So that's it. No, so that's it. The moment you got a credit period, you have to record it at present value. There is no concept of a zero interest in IFRS. Everything has got a cost. Your capital has got a cost. Okay, but then how we can value that five percentage? What is the borrowing rate of capital in the market? Okay. So with that, you pay. Okay. So there okay. are different ways. Now, every accounting standard gives you an idea of how to get the discounting rate. So in this transaction, normally the borrowing rate of interest. If you look at leases, it will be an implicit rate of interest. If you look at bonds, it will be a, a, a rate of interest for... A, the bonds which are non-convertible. So every standard will give you an idea of how to get that. For now, we are only going with the concept that we need to take it at present. Okay? Yeah, okay, ma'am. Okay. Now I go to our next example. I told you the time frame between receiving goods and paying the cash. If it is more than a year, you have to do it at present. So now I take a next example here. Alpha has received 10,000 from a customer towards purchase of goods on 1st April 2005. But the goods will be given to the customer after two years on 31st March 2017. So now again, do we have two years between the receiving of money and the issue of the goods? Yes. So do I have to follow time value of money? Yes. So now I have to record the transaction taking into account the time value. How do we go about it? So first of all, on 1st April 2015, when you receive the advance, I would debit cash and credit advance. Okay, so I record I have received uh, advance from the customer. Okay, one minute, one minute. I, no, I'm sorry. This will be at ten thousand. I received the advance ten thousand. Okay, I received the advance ten thousand, and I'm going to. Uh, get the goods after two weeks. So, when I receive the advance, debit cash, credit advance, advance is like a deferred revenue. Advance can be like a, a non-current liability. You can record it in your balance sheet. Okay. Now, uh, on 31st of March, I will charge 5% interest. Debit finance cost, credit advance. Okay. Debit finance cost, credit advance. One year later, 5% on 10,500. Debit finance cost, credit now, after two years, now you're giving the control of the goods. Now I will say debit accounts payable, credit revenue. So my revenue is 
Basically, if there is more than one year, means we have to book uh, the discounted rate, right? You have to go with the present year. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Okay, so we need to follow present value whenever the time gap time gap between receiving money and issue of goods is more than twelve months. That's the simple, straightforward principle. And suppose you're paying on a later date, you will do a present value. But if you're paying the money today, then you will, the future value will be your revenue. Okay. So otherwise the present value would have been your revenue, but now your future value will be your revenue. So that is how we tackle with the present value, application of present value. Okay. I need to understand this example once again. How we can book the revenue more than 10,000 because we have received the cash 10,000. No? Yeah, I received cash 10,000. So, you tell me one thing. Can anyone, does anyone give money for free? No, no. Nah? Don't have you have the, a... We have received the cash two years before, right? Yes. So, when I received the cash, haven't I used it for my business? Or is it lying like that? I've used yes. for my business, right? Yes, so yes. So, instead of borrowing from the market, this money is used in my business. So, this is a cost to the company in the form of a borrowing cost or finance cost. Right or no? Yes, yes. So, this is a notional borrowing cost for the company. So, I'm going to record that finance cost because otherwise I might have borrowed from the market. Got it? Mm -hmm. And this person who gave the money, technically, if after two years I don't give him the goods for whatever reason, don't I have to pay him interest? Yes or no? Okay, for the two years, we will pay interest to that party, right? If by chance, I'm not able to give him the goods, right? Mm -hmm. If I can't give him the goods, then I will have to pay him interest, right or no? Will he accept taking back his money without interest? For two years, he gave you the money. Uh, he's saying, I'm giving you an advance to make this particular goods for me ready and give me after two years. But after two years, for whatever reason, I'm not able to. Will he accept only 10,000 or will he tell me to give interest of two years? Yes, tell me. No, I'm good your time. Pardon, I will get you. Will he not ask for interest? Yes, yes, definitely ask. Ah, so, uh, and that is why we have to record finance cost, whether he asks or doesn't ask. We have used his money for our business, so it's a finance cost. Clear? Yes. So, that is how we take into account the present value for the goods and services. Okay.